Hey and welcome to the Daily Manchester United News show. Let's begin with our daily news. Bruno Fernandes puts in world-class performance for Portugal as Portugal faced Bosnia and Herzegovina. Manchester United's captain Bruno Fernandes was the star of the show. The 28-year-old scored twice and assisted one as he directly contributed to all three of his nation's goals as they won 3-0. Bruno assisted Bernardo Silva's opener with a wonderfully weighted through ball, which Bernardo lofted over the keeper. United's number eight then doubled his side's lead with a thunderous header into the top corner, showcasing yet another equality which he has in his locker. He can do it all. Bruno then doubled his own tally in the 92nd minute, scoring a delightful half volley, which he smashed into the top corner. A truly massive performance from a player who deserves his flowers but rarely gets them. United's Portuguese Magnifico continues to impress and prove his doubters wrong. On Saturday night, he made his season tally for club and country, 17 goals, 19 assists, thus capping a brilliant season establishing himself as one of the world's best. Eric Ten Hag, Steve McLaren and co. Will have watched Bruno Fernandes last night with a smile. Their choice of United captain, putting in a stellar performance for his country and raising his stock amongst the world's best midfielders. His attacking display will also be a positive indicator as it shows that despite the time off, Bruno hasn't missed a bit. Eric Ten Hag disagrees with the United Chiefs on key decision. Eric Ten Hag and the Manchester United Chiefs are reportedly in disagreement over the future of David De Gea. De Gea has yet to sign a new contract with only 13 days remaining before he would be released on June 30th. The 32-year-old wasn't included on the club's list of retained players released on Friday. However, the club added that the discussions remain open with the long-serving Spaniard. Ten Hag has supported De Gea through the season, even publicly backing him, but had suggested his starting position wasn't guaranteed next season. According to a report from Mail Online, the structure of a new deal on reduced terms had been agreed for De Gea some time ago. However, it's Ten Hag who is holding the deal up as he is unconvinced and favors an alternative profile of goalkeeper. It's believed Ten Hag prefers the idea of Inter Milan's Andre Onana or David Rea of Brantford. The disagreement comes from a financial point of view, with a first choice likely to cost upwards of £40 million. This is comparatively more than the cost of a keeper to rival De Gea. In order to meet financial fair play requirement, United are believed to be working on a tighter budget. With a budget of £100 million reported, anything above this will be generated from a player sales, so it comes down to Ten Hag wanting to sign a new goalkeeper in line with the style of play he aims to play, and on the other hand, the board looking to save money where possible. A recipe for disaster, especially with the takeover looming large over the club currently, with still no completion. However, with so little time remaining, it appears now that De Gea's future is looking bleak, while elsewhere, United have become strongly linked to numerous top goalkeepers. It seems increasingly likely Ten Hag may have come out on top in this battle. Casimero opens up on his role at United under Eric Ten Hag. Casimero had a great debut season at the heart of Manchester United's midfield following his £60 million move from Real Madrid. The 30-year-old was instrumental in United's push for a third-place finish. He was also vital in winning the Carabao Cup, scoring in the final day at Wembley. Casimero even managed to rack up seven goals and six assists, showing himself to be an all-action midfielder. On this, Casimero told the Manchester United official website that he doesn't see himself as a scorer. He said, I reckon it's now the third season in my career where I have managed to score seven goals. I get the odd goal now and again, but, of course, I am not what you'd call a genuine goal scorer. Despite his denial, it's hard to deny his status as a decent finisher, especially after his goal against Bournemouth in May, which won the club's goal of the month. Casimero added his more offensive role has come due to football's philosophical changes.
He said, in modern football, you defend with all 11 players and you attack with all 11 too. That's how football is nowadays. It's just impossible to defend or attack all by yourself. So I always have to help out the other lads, both in attack and also in defense. The Brazilian described his role in midfield and spoke of the joy he gets from completing his task. He said, my ball winning tackles are my goals. That's what I really like doing and that's when I am at my happiest. When I am winning the ball back, helping out my teammates, getting my teammates playing and moving the ball better, closing down space and then ensuring that we bring the ball out from the back with quality. The five-time Champions League winner proudly added, They are really my duties, but sure, everyone likes to score and create assists. We all like to, but in reality, my job and what I do on the pitch is something quite different. Everybody knows that. Man United preparing £45 million bid for Everton goalkeeper Jordan Pickford amid David De Gea contract standoff. Manchester United are preparing a £45 million bid for Everton goalkeeper Jordan Pickford amid the ongoing contract standoff with David De Gea. Daily Star report, the Red Devils have been in negotiations with De Gea over a new deal but have so far failed to convince him to stay beyond June. The Spaniard is currently on £375,000 a week and it has been said that he has refused to accept a reduced salary of £200,000 to sign a new United contract. Amidst this, it's reported that United are lining up an approach for Pickford who could leave Everton amid their financial woes. Pickford signed a new long-term deal in February this year, but could be sold for around £45 million in the current transfer window. United have the edge over Tottenham Hotspur with the Champions League football. They could double his wage of £100,000 a week. The England international has been an undisputed starter for Everton, but he won't be an upgrade on the Gia next season, in our opinion. The 29-year-old likes to come off his line regularly, but has not been convincing. Last season, he committed two errors leading to goals while conceding one penalty. Pickford has impressed with an average of nearly eight long balls per game, but his overall distribution has been poor. He completed just 52% of his passes last term. Hence, United should look at a better option in the transfer market. Inter Milan's Andre Onana would be a perfect fit and he could be available for a lesser fee than Pickford. The Cameroonian star is open to joining United from the Nerazzurri. He should settle into the club with ease, considering his four years under manager Eric Ten Hag at Ajax. Man United favourites to sign Andre Onana as a Chelsea and a transfer interest. Manchester United are in pole position to sign Inter Milan goalkeeper Andre Onana, with the Chelsea pulling out of the race, according to Standard Sport, the Cameroonian star had a brilliant debut campaign at Inter last season, keeping 20 clean sheets from 43 appearances across all competitions. Despite this, the Nerazzurri are open to cashing in on him due to their financial problems, but it appears that Chelsea are no longer in the transfer pursuit. The Blues started talks with the Inter earlier this month, but have ended their interest after the Nerazzurri refused to lower their £50 million price tag. United are now in the front seat to land Onana, but a move could heavily depend on the future of David De Gea, whose contract expires on June 30. United have been in discussions with De Gea over a new contract, but they have not made significant progress. The Spaniard is currently reluctant to accept a pay cut, considering he is the subject of interest from Saudi Arabian clubs, the 32-year-old could earn a pay rise on his current salary in the Middle East and this could be a key reason behind his ongoing standoff with United. If there is no breakthrough in contract talks, United could end their 12-year association with De Gea and concentrate on pursuing a modern goalkeeper. Onana would be the perfect fit for manager Eric Ten Hag, considering he played under him at Ajax. The duo shared a good relationship during their four years together, and it has been reported that the 27-year-old would prefer a move to Old Trafford. 
United could strike a deal for the former Barcelona graduate, provided they can negotiate a lengthy payment plan with the Nerazzurri this summer. While the limited budget without the player sales, United can't afford to pay a huge fee up front to secure the services of the highly rated keeper from Cameron. Onana was fantastic in his debut season at Inter. Aside from his shutouts, he completed 78% of his passes with an impressive seven long balls. He also caught the eye with his advanced and proactive goalkeeping positions. He would be a big upgrade on the Gia if United managed to sign him. Eric Ten Hag left fuming as Man United could miss out on Declan Rice due to take over Saga. Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag is angry that his plans of signing West Ham United midfielder Declan Rice are being foiled by the lengthy transfer saga, according to The Sun. The Red Devils boss is keen on landing two midfielders in the current transfer window. Chelsea's Mason Mount is one of the targets, and it appears Declan Rice could be the other. The Sun now reports that Ten Hag has identified the 24-year-old as the perfect addition to his squad and has been desperate to make a transfer offer to the Hammers. However, this has not been possible amid the protracted takeover saga, leaving Premier League rivals Arsenal in pole position to land the highly rated midfielder. The Gunners have filed with an opening £90 million bid for Rice, but are set to make a fresh move. Manchester City are also preparing to enter the pursuit. Meanwhile, the Sun believe Sheikh Jassim is the favourite to take over United, but the Premier League's owners and directors test could take around 10 days. Ten Hag's hands are tied at the moment with no significant funds to spend on key target. Rice has been one of the best midfielders in the Premier League. He has excelled with his quality distribution and excellent ball control from the center of the park. He could be Ten Hag's perfect alternative to Frankie de Jong, who does not plan to leave Barcelona. However, United are yet to make an approach for the England international amid the uncertainty over the budget available for the manager to spend in the transfer window. A recent report claimed that the manager has only £120 million before a player sales. In our view, this could be a reason behind the club's reluctance to enter talks for Rice. The Hammers are currently looking for a package of more than £100 million for their prized asset and United are currently not in a position to commit such an outlay. This scenario could change with a takeover. Sheikh Jassim could guarantee the funds up front, which United could recoup later on in the window with outgoings. Man United leading pursuit of Gonzalo Ramos Manchester United are leading the pursuit of Benfica striker Gonzalo Ramos due to their privileged relationship with super agent Jorge Mendes. Audiogo report. The Red Devils are aiming to land a new center forward in the summer transfer window, and they have been linked with several high profile names over the past few weeks. Tottenham Hotspur's Harry Kane was initially the top target for United, but they have decided to end their interest due to the high transfer cost for a potential move. It was recently reported that United are in the lead to land Ramos and Ojogo have today reiterated that they are front runners to sign him alongside Paris Saint-Germain. Ojogo claims that United and PSG have a privileged relationship with Mendes and this should boost their chances of signing the highly rated Portuguese centre-forward. It's added that Benfica president Roby Costa has the guarantee of Mendes that the 21-year-old will be one of the most expensive sales in the club's history this summer. The 21-year-old had an exceptional season for Benfica last term. He scored 27 goals and provided 12 assists from 47 appearances across all competitions. He also made a big mark with Portugal at the World Cup. Ramos netted a stunning hat-trick alongside an assist in the 6-1 road of Switzerland in the round of 16. The Portuguese has clearly enhanced his reputation as a result and United should look to swoop for his services after calling down their interest in Kane. Ramos may be 21 but has already developed into an all-round striker. He is tremendous with his high pressing and has also impressed with his hold-up play. The Benfica graduate 
won a stunning 4.9 ground and aerial duels per game last season. In our review, Ramos would perfectly fit into the plans of manager Eric Ten Hag. He has a release clause worth 120 million euros, but could be available for much less. It has been reported that the Portuguese outfit are ready to sell for 80 million euros for that price. United may not get a better center forward option in the transfer market. I will be uploading daily Manchester United news, so keep your eyes on the channel and don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate your support. Peace out. Thank <laughs> you.